Getting new information tonight and action from the Sanford Police Department in light of a six year old girl's accidental shooting death. Her uncle now facing a judge for the first time. News 6's Troy Campbell joins us live outside the Seminole County Courthouse. So, Troy, what did he have to say to the judge today? It definitely actually got pretty heated. We're about to see that right now. Williams in court this afternoon, his attorney arguing. Sanford police, they have no evidence that the gun the little girl found in the living room under the couch was his. The police officer had said, did you put that gun there or is that your gun? And he said, yes, I'd sit down and shut up. The attorney for 35-year-old Eric Williams arguing with the judge, saying Sanford police do not have proof he owned the handgun. Six-year-old Aletha Burke picked up on Monday evening, the girl accidentally firing one fatal shot. I don't see anything in this police report that in any way indicates that Mr. Williams ever had or ever told any police officer or anybody else that he ever at any time had possession of this gun. Williams' attorney argues several people live inside the home and they could have placed the gun under the living room sofa. It, it wasn't found on him. It wasn't, he wasn't asked whether he put it there. He wasn't asked whether he ever had possession of it. I'm assuming they're claiming that he had possession of it because it was found under a couch. Williams also arrested in 2006 for being a felon in possession of a firearm and also drug trafficking. People inside the home not calling 911 and said driving the girl to the hospital where she died of a single shot to her shoulder. Never indicated to anyone that he ever had possession of it, uh, and nobody saw him in possession of it. And Williams' bond now set at $20,000. We're also talking with the police chief in Sanford. We're asking him how he plans to deal with the problem of illegal guns on his streets and also in reach of children. Here, he, how he's calling the six year old's death completely preventable a little later at 5 o'clock. Until then, live outside the Seminole County Jail, Troy Campbell, New Six. All right, Troy, thank you.